What a sensational idea. This panel suggests tying up a rubber band to a car while driving. So when the time comes and we would like to go back, the band would do the work and pull us back without wasting any fuel. Alright, I have seen some industrial grade rubber bands, but I don't think there is one that is fit for such a task, because even the strongest elastomers would fail miserably under such extreme strain. The band would need to maintain elasticity and keep its integrity for kilometers while supporting a 1500kg vehicle. If we assume we do have that kind of miraculous material, the road would have to be 100% straight with no obstacles or traffic. Any deviation would create lateral forces that would instantly pull the car off course. So when we do meet these requirements and implement this design, the car would first drive smoothly but it would gradually experience exponentially increasing resistance force, which will cause the car to use more and more energy. And if the road is very long, at one point the car won't be able to move forward because the resistance of the band would become too much for the car to overcome. If we assume you make it to your destination, the car would need a reliable anchoring system capable of withstanding forces in the tens of thousands of newtons because the stored elastic potential energy would be enormous. The panel suggests using a brick, but that would be like trying to stop a train with a pebble. And even if the car was properly anchored, the release would convert all that stored energy into kinetic energy instantly instantaneously, and because there is no way to control it, the car would become a big dangerous projectile, making the idea altogether impractical, and most importantly, due to the law of conservation of energy, all the fuel you think you are saving on your way back home would already have been put into stretching the band during the first trip, plus some extra energy lost to heat through friction, so it really doesn't work. 